Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Staxel. In the last episode, we met Eliza of the Builder's Shop, who helped us learn how to build our first barn. So we still need to gather up the materials that we need to make everything to put inside. It actually tells us on this uh, little sign right here what we're missing. We need to make two troughs, and in order to do that, I'm pretty sure we have to chop down quite a few more trees. These uh, empty troughs take a lot of fine lumber, so that's going to be high on our list of priorities today. I am getting a little bit nervous about our petal situation though. Poor little Ivy is so hungry and unfortunately we don't have any food left for her. She seems to clear this out every single day. So that means she alone is going to cost us 100 petals just to keep happily fed, and that's not including our chickens. Wait a second. Do we have a little egg to harvest? Oh my gosh, our very first egg? Was that you, Sunshine? I don't see your friend anywhere around here. Did she maybe wander off? Well, that's a little bit worrying, but at least we have our very first egg. I have noticed inside our little uh, menu that we can actually make different types of food too. And one of the uh, options was the boiled egg. We just literally have to boil an egg inside some water, but our kitchen is still pretty run down. We might not have a way to complete this just yet. So I guess for now, we'll just go into town and uh, sell off our very first egg to hopefully give us the funds that we need to feed our animals. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit worried that we may have too many animals to actually take care of right now. I mean, as much as I hate to say it because I do love our chickens, I love our little kitty, I want to make sure that they're all going to be happy and fed too. 78 petals, that's uh, actually not too bad. So we'll go ahead and sell that off and that gives us enough to not only buy our pet food, but also our um, chicken food as well. There it is, I was a little bit worried that he didn't have this today. Yeah, it always seems to be the same price. And it seems like it's also the same price as it would be inside the supermarket. We will double check that just in case, but uh, so far this has been the minimum just to keep our pets fed every day. So here you go, Ivy. I'm so sorry that this took so long to give you. I hope you're not too upset with me. There she goes. Now you can eat, okay? Oh, she's diving straight into that food dish. Are you happy now, little one? Oh, she's eating the rest too. No wonder, you little gluttonous kitty. She is going to be the fattest cat on the entire farm. And then we have our chicken food too. Don't worry, I didn't forget about you guys. I think it might be inside my backpack though. We'll just make sure that our tools are at the ready so we can use those to complete our tasks today. But here you go, little guys. We'll go ahead and fill up your uh, feeder. That way our chickens will be happy too, wherever they happen to be. They must have been pretty happy though, because they did give us an egg. I would imagine that probably has uh, something to do with it all. I would like to check the shops too, to see if maybe there's some sort of net that we can buy. Something to scoop up all of those bugs that we've been seeing. Because I feel like it's just a waste leaving all of these gorgeous butterflies and ladybugs fluttering in the breeze, when we could possibly scoop them up and sell them off for petals. What are you selling, Buttons? Oh, they're new uh, little clothes to wear. Oh my gosh, the most fancy dress I have ever seen. We have hoodies, we have shoes. Oh, that is so cute. Not exactly what we're looking for right now because we need to focus on uh, making money and not spending it. Aha, a bug net. It's only 60 petals too, but oh my gosh, we don't actually have enough. Oh, that is very, very upsetting. At least we know where it is though. So 60 of those uh, petals and then we should be able to buy it. There's a shipping station too. That's interesting, a shipping catalog, sheep shears, a milker for the cows that we're about to get with our barn too, and a fairy grass seed packet. Ooh, that sounds very mysterious. We'll have to look into uh, that in the future. It looks like this might even be where we can uh, pick up even more pet stew once we do have more petals to spare. And did I just see a coop? Yeah, a chicken coop. Oh, that is super expensive, but it's something for us to work toward. So for now, let's just head back off into the woods and see if we can chop down some more trees. 
We'll gather up some more wood and turn that straight into lumber so we can hopefully finish off the troughs before the day is done. Oh my gosh, hello. I didn't even know you were there, little guy. Yet this is what I'm talking about. I would love to catch that little uh, grasshopper. I bet he would give us a good little collection of uh, petals too. Something to keep us alive at the very least. But if we go back into the builder shop, now that uh, the sun is beginning to set, it's already getting dark. The days pass so quickly here. We should be able to uh, use Eliza's little stations to hopefully make some more lumber. She is graciously allowing us to assemble all of our items here. We should probably talk to her too while our uh, wood is cutting. How's that barn going? Making good progress? Yeah, not too bad, but I am a little bit nervous, Eliza, and I'm sure you can understand if we do have more animals to take care of, because Max is going to give us those cows, then we better have a steady supply of income. Now there's our lumber. So we'll go ahead and pick that up, and then I believe we just need to assemble all of the pieces inside the assembly station. So we have our regular lumber, our hay bales, our nails, and our uh, fine lumber as well. Hello, Eliza. Looked like she was trying to grab those nails right out of our hands. And that should be our empty trough. There we go, empty trough number one. So we need a second one. I believe we need a little bit more fine lumber for that. And now we should have all of the items that we need for the second trough too. There we go. So that's the trough side of the barn complete at least. Now I guess we just need to uh, build the rest of it. We have to build four walls, she said, a roof over the top, though for some reason it's already counting us as having a roof, which is definitely not correct, and we're going to build a real roof for our cows. We'll leave all of the lumber uh, sawing away inside the builder shop too. As dangerous as that sounds, I'm sure Eliza won't mind if we saw some more overnight. And we'll go home and uh, let our little farmer sleep inside her bed, hopefully. Hopefully she'll get there before she ends up passing out for the day. Oh, it looks like we can harvest uh, this little thing too. A creature bud? What on earth is that? Is that something that we can maybe like interact with our animals with? Or should we just sell that off? I wonder if there's any more different types of flowers that we can uh, maybe collect? It looks like if we interact with these, we just end up pulling them out of the ground. And we don't want to destroy all of the beautiful scenery around our house. So let's go to sleep for now. And then we'll try to figure out how on earth we're going to scrape by yet again with uh, the very, very small amount of petals that we have. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's uh, too much work we can do around the town either. So I think until our crops finally grow, we might be out of luck. Hello, Ivy. Are our beets actually ready? Oh, they might be ready to harvest. No, it's growing healthily. Oh, I thought it was ready for us to pick up and sell. Well, let's make sure that we water them up. And then I guess we're going to have to make sure that we also plant more beets in the future. More than just six. Letitia looks like she's doing pretty good today though. Oh, Letitia is happy. And they do actually still have food inside uh, their little pen. So I think they'll be okay to go another day. Oh, Sunshine, go ahead and eat, little one. I know you have seeds there. You're just being stubborn. Maybe she's trying to forage up some food to eat herself. It looks like there's a little acorn that we can pick up too. We can water this as well. That's interesting. Maybe that would be a good way for us to grow some more trees. Oh my gosh, and we can sit on the logs? Not exactly what I was going for, but I guess if we need a little rest, we can uh, sit down on the log right underneath our big beautiful trees. There's even more of these creature buds out here, so we might as well harvest these too. Oh my gosh, and a snail? Oh, that is so cute. We actually caught that without the use of any bug nets, so I guess that's a good thing. We can see if maybe uh, somebody would like to buy our snail. We can't catch the grasshoppers, though. We need the bug net for those. The snails, I guess, are the one exception. We can harvest the mushrooms as well, so we probably want to do that too. I would imagine those are probably more items that would be great for us to uh, cook up inside our kitchen once the option is available to us. But let's see if we can hopefully scrape by with all of the things that we found today. Oh, those are actually worth a pretty decent amount. Let's go ahead and uh, sell those off. 
that at least gets us enough petals to uh, buy some food for poor little Ivy. Then we have our acorns, which is not too bad either. We have our mushrooms. 30 petals for the mushrooms, very, very good. And we have this cute little snail friend. 30 petals for that guy too. So once again, we can just uh, scrape by with our pet food, scrape by with the uh, chicken food too. Oh, look at that, trough food is going to be 100 petals too, just like our pet food. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're quite ready to really uh, take on the responsibility of cows. So let's feed Ivy again, and then uh, try to find enough little things to harvest around the world to at least buy that bug net. There's actually a lot of houses out this way that we haven't explored yet. I wonder who lives in all these places. Maybe this is like a farm fan's home? Or Rosemary? Can we interact with the mailbox to see? Oh, this is Oscar's home. Way back here, okay. We better make sure that we don't make anything dirty around here because he would be very, very upset with us. Who lives in uh, the pink house? Amelia. Oh, she was uh, the really, really sweet one with the little flower on her apron. Actually, there she is right now. So let's uh, chat with her. A town without a patisserie is like a cake without icing. Jessie Mew, won't you consider building me a patisserie? Oh, so she's like a little baker, maybe? I can give you the signpost to get you started. Oh no, we're not even done with our barn yet, Amelia. Place it at the front of the building for me. That way everyone will know where to find us once it's built. Oh, I'd love to be able to bake again. Oh, I really hope that we can build this for her, but... I'm not sure if now is the time, Amelia. Well, let's at least place the patisserie sign out here somewhere. I guess uh, this area might be a pretty good place to build something. There's a lot of broken down objects out here that we could probably use to build off of. That's what I'm assuming anyway. And it's close by to the supermarket too. Very close to the center of town, so I think this is a pretty good location for your patisserie. Let's go ahead and place down your sign right here. I placed that the wrong way again, didn't I? For some reason, I never remember to actually rotate the signs. Oh, this gives us a good look at uh, what sort of area we're going to have to build this into. But yeah, I mean, I guess we'll uh, try to make something right here for her once we do have the funds and the resources to do so. All right, so it took a while, but I finally managed to hunt down enough items to uh, hopefully buy that bug net with. So we have lots of uh, lovely little acorns. We have another one of these mushrooms to sell. And that leaves us with 88 petals. There we go, 60 petals. So let's go ahead and uh, grab this thing up and see what we can do. Now we know there are always tons of butterflies right by the center of town. So we might as well uh, try this out on them first. There we go, all we have to do is click the uh, left mouse button and it should catch it for us. An emperor butterfly. Oh, that is so pretty. I wonder if we can actually like display the um, different bugs that we collect too inside our house because we can basically place down any of our items on the shelves. So that would be pretty cool if we could get like an actual bug collection going. Once we don't have to worry about petals so much at least. Oh, let's see if we can hunt down the grasshopper too. I've been waiting to put that little guy in my pocket. There he is. Oh my gosh. And there's the most adorable, beautiful purple butterfly too. So let's see if my suspicions were correct. And if hopefully this will be uh, just what we need to keep ourselves alive in the land of Staxel. Who would have thought that it would be so very expensive to take care of so many little hungry mouths on the farm? I guess we probably should have uh, suspected as much. Oh my goodness. 180 petals for two of these butterflies? Yes, please, Leon. We have a pink butterfly for you. We have crickets too. Oh, this is perfect. Now we should definitely have enough of funds to not only keep our current pets happy and healthy, but also maybe consider uh, taking in the cows as well. Oh, and hello. Oscar and Rhea seem to be uh, wandering very, very close to our farm. Do you have something to ask us? Meow? Yeah? Do Kate always end sentences with Mia? Oh, she asked us this last time, and I was wondering if maybe we should be acting the same since we are of the same species. 
I guess she's poking around our farm because she wants to uh, get to know us a little bit better. I wonder if she's going to have a special thing that she wants us to build for her too. I would imagine eventually that is going to be the case. And how are you doing, Sunshine? Did you finally manage to find some food? There we go, Sunshine is happy again. Ivy is very, very happy too. Oh my goodness. Hey, be nice, little one. Pushing around our chickens. It looked like maybe she wanted to investigate all of those seeds. Oh, but she is so happy. You are absolutely adorable, Ivy. And now we don't have to worry about uh, not being able to feed you either. We have a little honeybee floating around all of our flowers. A worker bee. All right. I wonder if there's any other types of bees that we can catch. There's actually quite a bit of uh, land out behind our farm. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's even more places for us to explore. More things for us to harvest and more stuff for us to use to keep our farm thriving. Do I actually see the ocean way out there? Is that like some sort of beach? It definitely looks like water in that direction. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think that might actually be some sort of beach. All right, it's getting a little bit late, so I'm kind of nervous to go out so far. But I do want to see what's a lurking way out in the distance. Oh my gosh. We have beautiful ponds out here. Tons of things to harvest. Yeah, this seems to be like the end of the world on the other side of our farm. Oh, that is so cool. I bet there's probably some really interesting things that we could uh, harvest up by the beaches too. I see some palm trees in the distance. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. It'll look even more beautiful, of course, once the sun has risen. Maybe we'll even get the chance to see the sunrise out here. Are these maybe little seashells? Let's see. A swirly shell. Oh, those are so pretty too. We have to put at least one of these down inside our shelves. That way we can display it to remember this adventure by. I uh, seem to have maybe lost my way a little bit. I thought we just went straight down. Oh, there we go. Now I'm starting to see lights. The lights of the town in the distance. I was a little bit worried that I may have made a, a wrong turn somewhere down the line, but it looks like we're back in town. Hopefully our little farmer can make it back to her house before she ends up passing out for the day, but it is getting very, very close to that time. You're starting to feel sleepy. If only I had seen that notification before we went into uh, our bathroom that day. But let's go ahead and let our little farmer sleep, get all well rested so she can finally get to work building her barn in the morning. We can make all sorts of different blocks if we combine different items. And Ivy brought me a gift? Okay. Okay, let's see what the little kitty managed to find. Are you over here, Ivy? Hello. Oh my goodness. Did you find an entire wardrobe? Ivy, how did you get this home? Okay. <laughs> Okay, Ivy, thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, we might as well put this right in the house. We could use this instead of uh, the wardrobe that we had before. We'll just have to uh, break this one first. Seriously, Ivy, I have no idea how on earth you managed to bring this thing home. That is very, very large for one little kitty to uh, drag to our front door. But yeah, this is where we can actually change our clothes, so that's good to see. I noticed that on uh, one of the little hints that we saw when we slept in our bed. And here is our shelves, so let's see if we can maybe find a special little shell. The hermit shell, since it's nice and purple. To a place down here to remember our adventures by. Oh, that is so cute. We'll have to see if maybe we can build on more shelves to put on our walls, because that would probably be the best way to display our shell and our bug collections. So I think in the next episode, we'll get to work actually building our barn. We'll at least uh, lay out the skeleton, maybe figure out what blocks we want to use. Maybe I could even uh, make some more petals so we can buy some special ones from the marketplace. That would be nice. I don't expect our first uh, building to be too grand, of course. Nothing too extravagant, but we do need to make a very nice place for our brand new cows to live. So I'm really looking forward to meeting them, and I hope you guys are too. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!